أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نفمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حقا تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون صدق الله العظيم I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected in the name of Allah who is most gracious, most merciful. Alhamdulillah, once again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing our lives and giving us the health and guidance of coming out and offering our Jummah Salah. Praise be to Allah, the Almighty, the knowing, forgiver of sins and acceptor of repentance, severe to punish the Lord of bounty. And I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. To him is the eventual coming. And I bear witness that Muhammad, upon whom be peace, is his servant and messenger whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent as a bearer of good news and a warner and an inviter to Allah by his permission. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow blessings and peace on our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on his followers until the day of judgment. Alhamdulillah. My dear brothers and sisters, we will be entering the blessed month of Ramadan in the next two days, inshallah. Ramadan, as we know, is the month of Quran, the month of fasting, the month of forgiveness the best of all months. And we know in this night, in this month, there is a night which is called the night of degree, the creed, or the night of power, which is better than 1,000 months. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us In Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان. The meaning of which it was the month of Ramadan in which the Quran was first sent down as guidance for all people, having in it clear proofs of divine guidance and the criterion for right and wrong. The fire of Ramadan. The word Ramadan is derived from the trilateral root letters Ra, Mim, and Dat. Etymologically, the word Ra or and Ra Madan 
means the burning and scorching heat. The month of fasting is called Ramadan because it is the month in which we burn away all our sins and shortcomings in compensation for a greater reward in the next life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honors those who fast sincerely during the holy month of Ramadan by granting them special access to paradise through the gate of al rayyan Things we can do in and out of Ramadan. We fast. Whatever fast we do outside of Ramadan, we try to do it on a regular basis. We can read Al-Quran. We should do so on an everyday basis, even if it is a little, especially if we are healthy. We should do a good deed every day. We should start at home and walk our way outside. There is nothing greater to our spiritual well-being than to take care of our aged parents. We should be charitable on an everyday basis. The benefits of the continuous sadaka have been adequately documented in our scripture. Sadaka do not have to always be money. We can give of ourselves, such as our time, effort, or our expertise, all these valuable assets. We greet those we know and those we do not know. We present ourselves to others with a smile and a pleasant appearance. The zik is a form of worship. We must always be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wake up for the tahajjud prayer. Recall that the door of the tahajjud time is like an arrow that does not miss its mark. Brothers and sisters, Teach Islam to your children, or the world will teach them something else. Then what will you tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you meet him? Spread Islam, help to strengthen a weak Muslim. We should try to make a difference in the lives of others. We make sincere repentance and seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously. Seeking repentance and seeking forgiveness continuously, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in Al-Quran, A'udhu billahi mina shaitanir rajeeb وَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ يَعْمَلْ صَالِحًا يُكَفِّرْ عَنْهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِ وَيُدْكِلْهُ جَنَّةِ Whoever believes in Allah and does righteous deeds, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shall absolve him of his misdeeds and admit him into paradise. Chapter 64, Ayah 9. And again, وَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ وَيَعْمَلْ صَالِحًا يُدْكِلْهُ جَنَّةِ Whoever believes in Allah and does righteous deeds, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shall admit him into paradise. And this ayah is taken from chapter 65, ayah 11. Both of these ayahs are very simil similar, with the exception that the first verse or the first ayah contains an additional phrase. 
he shall absolve him of his misdeeds. Why is this phrase mentioned exclusively in the first verse and not in the second? The reason is that the second verse is direct towards the Muslims whose sins were not forgiven until they sought forgiveness. However, in the first ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to the disbelievers whose sins would be absolved if they revert to believe in Allah and did good deeds. Furthermore, when the disbelievers commit to righteousness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises the forgiveness of their previous sins, whether they ask for forgiveness or not. Such precision and accuracy are only found in the Book of Allah. Brothers and sisters, the Quran is a universal book which addresses all of mankind, regardless of where they are in their path to discovering the truth. Ultimately, this book carries many noyans to signify the various audience it is addressing. Again, we visit the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that is the masjid often. Support its well-being and take advantage of its services. We must be active, or we, we must be an active part of our community. Every one of us can help, even in a small way, to improve the status of our community. We do not neglect to seize an opportunity to embrace our relationship with Allah. Here we have a great opportunity, and this is the month of Ramadan. We have the days and we have the nights. They are sacred and they are full of blessings. Let us think about the following while we are fasting and after. The one who is two-faced in this world will have two tongues of fire on the day of resurrection. The evilest of people on the day of resurrection will be the one who is fertile, who is not consistent in his attitude, but presents one face to some people and another face to others. When most of us read this hadith, we immediately look around us to see who fits this description. We do not look at ourselves. However, if we do try to look at ourselves, a voice from within us says, you are wonderful. There is nothing wrong with you. Of course, that voice is shaitan whispering at us. During Ramadan, the shayateen is chained. We, as a result, cannot blame him for our shortcomings during Ramadan. However, look out for him trying to whisper excuses in our minds after Ramadan is over. My dear brothers and sisters, we walk in Ramadan to improve our character. We continue to do so after Ramadan. If we cannot be that shining light upon a hill, we can at least be the single candle on the window seal. We strive for goodness for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abu Hurairah radiallahu an narrated that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, let him be humbled into dust. Let him be humbled into dust. It was said, O Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is he? He said, He who sees either of his parents during his their old age, or he sees both of them, but he does not enter paradise. 
He who sees either of his parents during their old age, or he sees both of them, but he does not enter paradise. Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, our parents is one of the stronghold to enter paradise. And yet, it is very difficult for some of us to be nice with our parents. As we all know the saying, paradise lies under the feet of thy mother. Many of us who have old parents, some of us, you know, badly treat them. I don't want to go on into that. Even though many of you will walk all day while you fast and will, go and will be so sleep deprived, as usual, you will yet find the time and energy to go to the masjid during Ramadan. Inshallah, alhamdulillah, this is called Iman, faith. May Allah reward you, Amin. We struggle to build and increase our Iman and we try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us again in Quran, A'udhu billahi mina shaitanir rajim wa iza sa'alaka ibadi anni fa inni kareeb Now, if my servants ask you, O oh, Prophet, about me, then indeed I am near. Chapter 2, Ayah 186. Now, if my servants ask you, O oh, Prophet, about me, then indeed I am near. In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking directly to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him, Now if my servants ask you about me, then indeed I am near. If this sentence was mentioned outside of the Quran, it would read as, Now if my servants ask you about me, tell them, indeed I am near. The command, tell them, is omitted from the ayah because Islam does not mandate a meditia, meditia or between the creator and the creation. Conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala carries no intermediary as a reminder of the proximity of the bond at our disposal with our creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thus, by omitting the words, tell them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asserting that we do not need a mediator, nor we seek, when we seek from our Lord, we have a direct connection to him and his treasures. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is near us. My dear brothers and sisters, this connection, what we have to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the five-time daily prayer. The solar, come closer brothers. There are brothers standing and waiting. Come closer and fill up the gaps. We know the solar is a pillar of Islam. And the salah is compulsory to pray five times a day. Five times a day. Salah will be the first thing, or the first thing to be questioned for on the day of judgment. And if our salah is in place, then the other rest of the stuff, like fasting, zakah, Hajj comes after. 
But solar is very, very important. We have, we see that if we cannot fast, we can, uh, you know, give the poor, or we have excuses to make up. But when we come to solar, there is no excuse. Even if we sick and we are in bed, then we still have to pray over solar. If we can do it lying down on our sides, then inshallah, we have to do it. So there is no excuse for salah. And this is very important, my dear brothers and sisters. Sometimes in this month of Ramadan, we fast, and then we, some of us have excuses that they at work and they can't pray. We have to find a way to pray our salah. This thing, this prayer comes first, right? This is first priority. So we have to pray our five times daily solar. After Ramadan, please continue to visit the masjid, even if it is only on your days off. Sisters, please continue to observe the hijab, not just in the masjid, but outside too. Let us pay our zakatul fit on time. Pay up before the day of Eid so that the funds can reach the needy on time. They too should have a joyous time on the day of Eid al Fitr. And earnestly seek for the night of power. Seek the night in the last ten nights. If we cannot, then seek it in the odd nights of the last ten nights. We do not worry whether we found the right night or not. There are benefits in the search itself. We do not know whether we will have an opportunity again. Soon it will be idol fit. Spend the last few days of the month worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rather than trying to prepare for Eid. Avoid a lot of shopping. Eid does not need loads of preparation. Keep it simple and it will be blessed, inshallah. Do not skim either. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me the opportunity and the ability to experience another Ramadan. It is a real big deal for me. Not many of our people take advantages and the opportunities that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us. If we think, or if you think I am wrong, then visit the masjid after the Eid. My dear brothers and sisters, as Muslims, we know Ramadan, during Ramadan, we have full masjids. But when you come to prayer time, the masjid is not filled. When you come to Salatul Fajr, you have less than one line. Where are the brothers? Where are the brothers? We are very, very fortunate to be Muslims. We are the crown of creation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so, you know, merciful to us. Here he has given us the month of Ramadan, you know, to boost our iman, to boost our iman, come out. And whatever we do in Ramadan, we could do it outside of Ramadan. If we could come for the Fajr Salah for Ramadan, in the month of Ramadan, then outside of Ramadan, we could come and pray in the masjid. Why it is so difficult? Little sacrifice we've got to make, and the reward for this sacrifice will be generous. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, 
you know, for one good deed in this month, what we get to then reward, he multiplied. Multiplied to 700,000 times and, and more. We are very fortunate. When we look around the globe, what we see is calamities, difficulties, brothers, sisters, children, they are starving, no food, no shelter. We are fortunate to get a good drinking water to drink, a nice masjid to come and pray. We know where the food is coming from. We are blessed. Let us ask our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, you know, to forgive us for our shortcomings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us, our families and our ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our efforts during this blessed month of Ramadan and the rest of the year too. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of us. May Allah help us to improve our lives and to be better Muslims. May Allah help us to be more consistent with our worship. In the end, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on us, forgive us, and grant us Jannatul Firdaus. All of us, including you too. Amin. بارك الله لنا ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعنا وإياكم بذكر الحكيم إنه تعالى جوار كريم من ملك بره الحمد لله الحمد لله نفمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي الله ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بأعداد من صلى وصام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بأعداد من قاد وقام وصل على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل ملائكة المقربين وعلى إباد الله الصالحين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إباد الله إن الله يعمر بالعدل والإيسان ويتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبق يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون ولا ذكر الله تعالى أولى وأولى وأأز وأجل وأتم وأهم وأكبر حكيم الصلاح